and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a bare flat icon. I wouldn't call this a beginner video anymore, so if you are new to using Inkscape, check out my playlist in the description below, but I'll guide you through all of the details of this design as well, and if there are questions, just let me know in the comment section below. So at first, we can see that the flat icon is symmetrical, so we're going to create a guide for the center, just press Ctrl R if you can't see your rulers, and I've got the snapping enabled using the default functions, so you should start here as well. Now create an ellipse, something like this, and reposition it. Now I'll use a rectangle and create an overlap. I hold shift, click on a black ellipse, then path and difference, and I've got this shape. I'll press Ctrl Z to put it back in position. And now I use this nodes tool. I left click on these nodes and then I can move them around and adjust the handles to adjust the curvature. It's a little bit of guesswork, but I'm fine with this one for now. Let me transform it and I make it a little bit thinner. Now I'll create another ellipse and if I go to a 45 degree angle and hold control, I've got a circle. I reposition that up to here and I size it down holding shift and control. Then control D on it. That way I can copy it, I give it a different fill and I size it down holding shift and control once more. I select these two elements holding shift and then I go to path and union and I can directly use the eyedropper tool. D is the shortcut for it and S is the shortcut for this cursor tool. So I'm going to give it these colors but you could also use the swatches below. Just move the scale around to find something that you want and then left click on it we could, for example, use this combination as well. I'm going to stick to the one that I've already created for my example. So I'll press Ctrl Z. Now let's create the nose. Uh, but I'm not really happy with this side. So let me move these nodes and handles a little bit more around. I'm going to make it smoother. And I think that looks way better now. All right, let's get back to the nose. I'll use the rectangle and I drag something like this. I want to use the notes tool, but at first you have to go to path and object to path to see all the notes. All right, let me transform it first with the cursor tool. And now I use the notes tool. So my notes are already there as I've turned it into a path. And I hold control when I drag these notes to the left and right. Now path, path effects, click on the plus sign and use the corners effect. And now we can create corners that are round. Again, I use D, the eyedropper tool to give it this color. Now I create the eye. Again, hold Ctrl when you drag the ellipse, go to 45 degree angle, and you've got a circle, Ctrl D to copy, hold Shift and Ctrl when you size it down, and reposition it. 
use the iDropper tool once more. As I've said, D is the short key, S is the short key for the cursor tool. I'll adjust it a little bit. Now we'll have to create the tip of the nose. Let me turn off the snapping temporarily. Transform it and then again use a rectangle to cut off the part that we don't need. Turn on the snapping. Hold shift, click on the nose below. We go to path and difference. I'll transform it once again, then Ctrl D to copy. I'll give it a different color and then I'll transform it. Use the eyedropper tool. But the eye might be a little bit too big. I hold shift, select them both, then I hold shift and control and size them down. I select it all, control D, hold control and drag the copy to the right, flip it with the top menu, reposition it, the snapping is enabled. Give the right hand side the other color, so the darker brown. And I have to use the notes tool a little bit to adjust these points so where these two elements meet because it's a little bit too sharp and I want to smoothen it out and make it flat on top as well. So just left click on the notes, you can drag them around. Reposition the handles if you have to. I don't like this area down here, so let me reposition the notes once more. And I'll play around with the handles. So this part is not about doing something right or wrong. This is just about taste. I think you can already see that we've got the basics done. Now let us create a circle for the background. Hold shift and control. Go to the center position. Drag it. Put it to the bottom. We can drag a Diagonal guide out of the corner, so the top right corner. Let me activate snap to pass and it snaps right here. By the way, I'm zooming around, holding control and then I use the mouse wheel. And then I press the space bar and then I can move around in the view of this canvas. Just use the Bezier tool now, create this shape, give it a fill. Hold shift, click on a black circle in the background and this time use path and division. And now we can give this two different colors. Maybe something like this. Go to edit, delete all guides. I'm not really happy with the nose. Let me adjust that as well. So again, I use the notes tool for that. And I'll make it a bit smoother. The snapping helps once more.
but this looks fine. Select it all, Control G, and this is how you can create such a bare flat icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. As I've said, it's not really a beginner video, so if you've got lost, just check my playlist in the description of the video below, and you'll find hundreds of videos that explain the basics of using Inkscape. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.